Good morning. As a part of today's events, the awards ceremony brings together donors, sponsors, college staff, family, friends, and students to recognize the amazing achievements of Portage College students. I'd like to welcome you to our 2022-23 awards ceremony. My name is Don Moore, and I'm the Dean of Education, Arts and Culture, University Studies, Trades and Technology, Continuing Education, and Marketing here at Portage. And I have the pleasure of being the MC for today's ceremony. I would like to begin by first acknowledging that we are meeting on the lands of First Nations peoples, the owners of Treaty 6 and 8, which are also the homelands of the Métis people, and we are grateful to them for sharing the land with us. The program today will include greetings from our Portage College Board, Executive, and Program Administration. We also have a representative from our donors who will express what it means to financially support Portage College students, and a student that will respond on how the support has impacted their journey at Portage College. To bring greetings on behalf of the Portage College Board of Governors, I'd like to call on Board Chair Mr. Randy Benson. Well, the good news is I'm going to be really brief. On behalf of the Board of Governors, first of all, welcome everybody. We'd like to first begin by congratulating the over 500 recipients of the awards. I may have that number a little skewed given that some might have received more than one. But it's been a pleasure today and again, congratulations. Awards don't happen unless there are donors, of course. And for those, we thank, uh, on behalf of the Board of Governors, I thank the donors who made a portion of the $618,000 that were available for the awards last year. Thank you to all of our partners and thank you for the staff and everybody else who worked hard to make this happen. See, I said I'd be short, so there you go. That's my gift to you today. Thank you, Mr. Benson. On behalf of the college, I'd like to now ask our president and CEO, Ms. Nancy Broadbent, to say a few words. Thank you, everyone. Welcome award recipients and donors and family, friends, to this special segment of our celebrations today. This celebration is specifically aimed at honoring the hard work that our students have done to get top grades, support their colleagues in class, and complete humanitarian projects. I'm pleased to share that we've had many successes this year. How about a 100% pass rate on the Alberta Boiler Safety Association exams for our power engineering students? <laughs> and staying with power engineering, we also had one of our alumni award, was awarded the 2022 Outstanding Student Achievement Award of Canada. And I can't help but brag about our students who captured bronze in the business case competition against all other post-secondary business students. In addition to the fantastic academic successes, we've had a hard, very hard-working group of community social work students who generated over $6,000 for local charities our athletic students followed, volunteered over 1,100 hours in minor sports, schools, and other programs. We went to nationals in our golf. Uh, we had the, uh, and on top of this, our student association and our cultural ceremonies have provided many benefits to everyone throughout our region. This celebration certainly demonstrates how driven our students are for success and how they give back to others. And it causes a ripple effect in our communities. You know what? We were even mentioned in the Country Music of Alberta Awards in April. That's a first for Portage. Um, I want to thank all of our students for this dedication and to all of our donors who make the giving so successful. You've done excellent work, students alongside our excellent academic team. 
enjoy the award ceremony with our academic staff and our donors as Chair Benson and I will be departing to prepare ourselves for the honour ceremony coming up next. Thank you everyone for being here. Thank you, Ms. Broadbent. It's quite impressive hearing more and more about uh, the success that our students have had across the province. I'd like to acknowledge my fellow dean that provides academic leadership to programs at Portage College, Robin Tizard. On behalf of the deans, I'd like to ask Ms. Robin Tizard, Dean of Health, Human Services, Business, Environmental Sciences, International Teaching and Learning and Applied Research, to say a few words. Robin? <laughs> it's great to see so many people here today. Thank you so much. I would like to first thank our donors and sponsors. Your contributions have made this award ceremony possible. And these scholarships and awards have enhanced our students' lives. Enhancement. What does that word mean for students at the college? Some awards represent academic achievement, such as the Dean Scholarship Award. These types of awards enhance resumes, acknowledge the extensive effort of the recipient. I think of these awards as the wonderful buttercream on top of the academic chocolate cake. And for those that know me, dessert really matters. The monetary nature of many awards also enhances our student lives. Perhaps a student now can afford that $200 anatomy textbook, and they can actually have it themselves rather than sharing. Maybe they can buy that brand new laptop so they can access Moodle every hour and every night, because that's the student dream, right? <laughs> Moodle all the time. Perhaps the ward is large enough that the student may actually be able to cut back on working. Maybe even take a leave of absence from employment and focus totally on their studies. The luxury of going to class and not having to head straight to a shift, now that's true enhancement. And the largest level, perhaps, in terms of enhancement is maybe this award has removed a barrier totally, whatever that barrier was. And this student now can access post-secondary education. College may once have seen just a dream. And this morning in our prayer, they talked about dreams. These awards, this may have allowed this dream to come true for that student. I would like to quote the late and very inspirational Tina Turner. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their own dreams. Thanks you again to the donors and sponsors for without you, many dreams would not have come true. And congratulations to the recipients today. May you enjoy your award to its greatest and fullest. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Tizard. There are many individuals and organizations that provide support for our students in the form of awards, scholarships, and bursaries, and they are identified in your programs. Please take the time to review the list. I would like to provide a special welcome to the donors and sponsors who are able to attend in person today and thank them for taking the time to attend. <laughs> on behalf of the donors and sponsors, I'd like to call on Belle de Reyes from Rupert's Land, Senior Director of Operations, to say a few words. If you would, Belle. Good morning, good afternoon. I don't know the time anymore. <laughs> but anyways, I cheated this morning. And uh, I asked Siri, what is a graduation? 
So according to Siri, graduation is the award, awarding of a diploma to a student by an educal, educational institution. Kind of boring, I thought. No offense to Portage or any <laughs> institution, um, but I thought it didn't capture the human side of things. Um, you know, the long hours of studying instead of partying that you did, the eating of the ramen noodles because that's all you can afford, the elation of getting 100% on your paper that you actually worked on, the friendships that you've formed through the years because you had to share notes because you were absent that day. For us in Rupert's Land, we tried to alleviate some of that. I mean, we can't um, solve every financial problems or, or you know, solve the, the problems of the world, but we try. And, um, you know, maybe instead of a cup of noodles, maybe it was mac and cheese the other day, you know? <laughs> but today is a celebration of you. We were just supporting you. So today, you came and you conquered. So what's next? For some people, the what if comes next. For me, it did. What if I get a job? What if I, you know, I have a student loan to pay? What if I don't get into that post-grad program that I applied for? What if the job that I get doesn't apply to the studies that I just finished? Well, that what if list can get really long. But you know what? There's no definitive answer to the what ifs. Today with your diploma, you are closing a chapter in your life. With that same diploma, you are also opening a new chapter in your life. That is a blank page and you have to fill in that page. You have the pen and you fill in that chapter. It's your journey. So on behalf of Rupert Land Institute, um, we'd like to thank you for being, for including us for this uh, celebration. And um, good luck to that new chapter. And may the force be with you. Thank you so much, Belle. I'd now like to ask the students who are receiving awards to come around the back, uh, to come around the side there and start to line up um, in order to receive them. And as we are doing that, um, I'd like to go over a few numbers that we have in regards to today's award ceremony. In the 2022-23 academic year, over $618,000 in awards, scholarships, and bursaries from both internal and external sources will be given out to Portage College students. In your program, there are 532 awards, scholarships, and bursaries listed. When we adjust for multiple recipients, 307 unique Portage College students will have received recognition and benefit. Very impressive numbers for sure. As our students are lining up, I would like to call upon a student representative to say a few words on behalf of the award recipients and provide her perspective on what it means to receive support. Cordelia Leon is a student in the Business Administration Certificate Program and is a recipient of 10 separate awards, scholarships, and bursaries. Ladies and gentlemen, Cordelia Leon. <clears throat> Tanse, and hello, everyone. My name is Cordelia Lyons, and I was actually born and raised here in Lac La Biche. I am a business student here at the Lac La Biche campus of Portage College, and I'm studying business management. But Portage is actually not my first journey into the post-secondary world. So for my first year, 
After high school, I went to a big university in an even bigger city. I had to do it alone with limited transportation, limited social interaction, and limited funds. That year, I lost two of my grandparents and was unable to see them in their last moments because of the pandemic restrictions and the suddenness of their passing. So, to spoil the end of my first year out of high school, I, an honor student my whole life, had failed a class. All of them. So there I was, tail tucked between my legs, moving back into my parents' basement with nothing but regrets and an over-consuming sense of failure. Flash forward a year, and you'll find a very different person. Over this past year at Portage, I've worked my first many jobs. I applied and got accepted here into Portage College. And here I became a member of the SAPC, the Students Association of Portage College, as well as a representative on the Chamber of Commerce Board of Directors. And I am a student member on the Portage College Board of Governors. Today, I have completed my first year of my business degree, my certificate of business, business administration with honors. And one of the biggest reasons behind my success this year compared to last year is scholarships. Scholarships aren't just a way of paying for college. They empower students, they transform our lives, and they create a better future for our society. Life is costly, especially for those of us in, in school. Only some have family contribution and only some qualify for loans. Scholarships can help fill this gap and they make education accessible to those that need it. So relieving financial stresses for students allows us to concentrate on our studies and future prospects. Scholarships are more than just money. They're opportunities, opportunities to learn, grow, achieve, and experience. And we will all experience inevitable loss in our lives. Loss of a loved one, loss of a job, loss of a choice. Scholarships can change lives, not only for the recipients, but for the people around them. For some, it is permission to reach for a higher purpose. For others, it may be the difference between success and failure. And for me, they're a second chance that I've never once taken for granted. I want to, I want to thank you all for listening, and I want to implore our very generous donors and sponsors to continue investing in student success, both for those currently in school and for those that come after me, so that we may all have the same opportunities that I was granted. Thank you. Thank you very much, Cordelia. This on behalf of Portage. In just a few moments, individual students will be announced and will walk across the stage to be recognized for their achievements. Several types of awards, scholarships, and bursaries will be announced, along with their names. Before we begin, though, I would like to quickly highlight a few key awards that you will hear announced. The Louise McKinley Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to our top two students entering their second year of a full-time diploma program. The Dean's Scholarship and Academic Achievement Award. Students receiving this award have achieved the highest grade point average, or GPA, upon completion of their program. Please note that the highest GPA that can be earned is a 4.0. Student of the Year. This is a recognition for students who have shown outstanding leadership and attitude along with their academic performance. This award is selected by the program area and is essentially a program's MVP. And the Jason Lang Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to students who have completed one year of an undergraduate post-secondary program in Alberta that is at least two years in length. To receive this scholarship, students must have a minimum GPA of 3.2 and continue on with their studies into the second year. The scholarship is administered by the Alberta Scholarship Program. More numbers. 
This year, Portage College has 64 recipients who qualify for the Jason Lang Scholarship. The students will now be called up one at a time to be recognized. Our awards officer, Lisa Benyuk, will be announcing our recipients today. Good morning, everyone. Uh, first off, we start with Trista Shaleen from the Community Social Work Program, receiving the Dean's Scholarship and Academic Achievement Award, Portage College Entrance Scholarship, and Student of the Year Award. <laughs> Next, we have Deborah Adesoji, Business Administration Certificate, Student of the Year Award. Miranda Cardinal, Community Social Work, Student of the Year Award. Brooks again, Practical Nurse, Student of the Year Award. Rosanna Houle, Educational Assistant Certificate, Practicum Bursary. Kiara Moya, Community Social Work, Jason Lang Scholarship. Madison Gagne, Community Social Work, Jason Lang Scholarship. Jamie Whitefish, Community Social Work, Helping Hand Bursary, Indigenous Careers Award, and the Jason Lang Scholarship. Desiree Nolan, Community Social Work, Jason Lang Scholarship. Miriam McPhee, Practical Nurse, Portage College Role Model and Ambassador Award. <laughs> Danielle Thompson, Business Administration Certificate, Dean Scholarship and Academic Achievement Award. <laughs> Clarice Breton, Professional Cooking Certificate, Student of the Year Award. Pamela McKay, Culinary Arts Diploma, Dean Scholarship and Academic Achievement Award. Jaden Draney, Power Engineering Fourth Class, Alberta Athletics Award, Helping Hand Bursary, Leon and Louise Rudiger and Family Bursary, and the Practicum Bursary. Lexi Wersta, Hairstyling Certificate, Dean Scholarship and Academic Achievement Award, Invest in Your Future Scholarship Award, and the Portage College Entrance Scholarship. <laughs> Carolyn DeSima, Office Administration, winning the Student of the Year Award. <laughs> Devin Kane, in Fine Arts Certificate, Portage College Entrance Scholarship, as well as Student of the Year Award. Fatima El Hamid, Educational Assistant Diploma, the Dean's Scholarship and Academic Achievement Award. <laughs> Dracita Trach, College Preparation, Student of the Year Award. <laughs> Stacy Lafleur, Community Social Work, Indigenous Careers Award, Jason Lang Scholarship, as well as the Metis Scholar Award. Virginia Taylor, Community Social Work, winning the Indigenous Careers Award and Jason Lang Scholarship. Kimberly Valley, Early Learning and Child Care Diploma, Helping Hand Bursary and the Jason Lang Scholarship. Dylan Brunette, Community Social Work, Student of the Year Award. Ileana Buckle, Business Administration Diploma, Accounting, winning the Dean Scholarship and Academic Achievement Award. <laughs> Jaden Eckert Krasowski, Business Administration Certificate, winning the Student of the Year Award.
Mallory Lafon, practical nurse, winning the flight sergeant memorial bursary, helping hand bursary, Jason Lang scholarship, and practicum bursary. Lacey Morgan, practical nurse, winning the Jason Lang scholarship. Nadine Clark Grant, Early Learning and Child Care Diploma, winning Student of the Year Award. Tyson Simpson, Practical Nurse, receiving Student of the Year Award. Chandra Harper, Natural Resources Technology Diploma, receiving Jason Lang Scholarship and Student of the Year Award. Crystal Pearson, Natural Resources Technology Diploma, receiving the Jason Lang Scholarship. <laughs> Laura Cardinal Tom, Business Administration Diploma Management, receiving the Helping Hand Bursary and Indigenous Careers Award. <laughs> Christian Martell, Culinary Arts Diploma, receiving the Student of the Year Award. <laughs> Lexi Sims, Practical Nurse, receiving the Jason Lang Scholarship. <laughs> Taylor Desjardins, Office Administration, receiving the Xerox Award. <laughs> Monaco Montero, Early Learning and Child Care Diploma, receiving the Jason Lang Scholarship. <laughs> Lauren Brown, Practical Nurse, receiving the Dean Scholarship and Academic Achievement Award, Jason Lang Scholarship, Student of the Year Award, as well as the Wolf Midstream Award. <laughs> Curiel Sebastian, Practical Nurse, receiving the Jason Lang Scholarship. <laughs> Peyton Whitkey, Practical Nurse, receiving the Helping Hand Bursary and Student Learning Services Bursary. <laughs> Ryan Riberty, Natural Resources Technology Diploma, receiving the Dean's Scholarship and Academic Achievement Award, Jason Lang Scholarship, and the Natural Resources Fellowship Award. <laughs> Sharice Obiokeke, Practical Nurse, receiving the Helping Hand Bursary, Student Learning Services Bursary. <laughs> Samantha Gard, Practical Nurse, receiving Student of the Year Award. <laughs> Amanda Vaders, Practical Nurse, receiving Student of the Year Award. Johanna York, Practical Nurse, receiving the Board of Governors Entrance Scholarship. Sarah Fedoric, Aboriginal Art Certificate, receiving the Career and Technology Strand Entrance Bursary, Helping Hand Bursary, Indigenous Careers Award, Portage College Board of Governors Bursary, Portage College Role Model and Ambassador Award, Spirit of Community Partnership Award, the Spirit of Portage Award, and Student Learning Services Bursary. <laughs> Promise Beauregard, Artisan Entrepreneurship Diploma, receiving the Dean's Scholarship and Academic Achievement Award, Heritage Visual Arts Award, Indigenous Careers Award, Jason Lang Scholarship, and Student of the Year Award. Trisha Monias, Community Social Work, receiving the Helping Hand Bursary and Indigenous Careers Award. <laughs> Rochelle Lywin, Early Learning and Child Care Diploma, receiving the Jason Lang Scholarship. <laughs> Lyric Lewis, Community Social Work, receiving the Alberta Athletics Award, Helping Hand Bursary, Indigenous Careers Award, and Student of the Year Award. Annette McIntosh, Business Administration Diploma Management, receiving the Helping Hand Bursary and Indigenous Careers Award. <laughs> Marianne Maru, Early Learning and Child Care Diploma, receiving the Jason Lang Scholarship. <laughs> okay. 
Rhonda McCarricker, Early Learning and Child Care Diploma. She is the recipient of one of our most prestigious awards offered at the college here, the Governor General's Collegiate Bronze Me Medal and the Louise McKinney Post-Secondary Scholarship. Kaylee Weigelt, Business Administration Certificate, receiving the Career and Technology Strand Entrance Bursary, Helping Hand Bursary, Indigenous Careers Award, Lawrence Decor Award for Student Leadership, Métis Scholar Award, Portage College Role Model and Ambassador Award, as well as the SAPC Leadership Scholarship. Cordelia Lyons, Business Administration Certificate, receiving the Board of Governors Entrance Scholarship, Gerald White Humanitarian Award, Helping Hand Bursary, Indigenous Careers Award, Portage College Board of Governors Bursary, Powwow Association Scholarship, President's Entrance Scholarship, and the SAPC Leadership Scholarship. Christine Hansen, Practical Nurse, receiving the Jason Lang Scholarship. Amanda McInnes, Hairstyling Certificate, receiving the Alberta Athletic Award, Gerald White Humanitarian Award, Helping Hand Bursary, Portage College Role Model and Ambassador Award, and the SAPC Leadership Scholarship. and Tommy Ribbonleg in Culinary Arts Diploma, having received the Indigenous Careers Award. Congratulations to you all. Thank you, everyone. Can we get one more big round of applause for all the recipients? At this time, Portage College would like to recognize our most prestigious award and its recipient, the Governor General's Collegiate Bronze Medal. The Governor General's Collegiate Bronze Medal was first awarded by the Earl of Dufferin and has since become one of the most prestigious awards that a student in a Canadian educational institution can receive. At Portage College, it is awarded to the one student who has the highest academic marks across the college over the entire two years of a diploma program. This year's recipient achieved a GPA of 4.0 while completing an early learning and childcare diploma. Please join me in recognizing this year's recipient of the Governor General's Collegiate Bronze Medal, Rhonda McCarricker. Congratulations, Rhonda. In closing, I would like to recognize the hard work of our awards officer, Lisa Benyuk, and the two college committees that are made up of volunteers from college staff. The awards planning committee works with Lisa on administering the awards program, and the awards selection committee works anonymously to select recipients using the established criteria for each award. Thank you to our staff for their excellent work. Again, I would like to thank all of the donors and sponsors that support our Portage College students, and to everyone here, 
We appreciate you attending the ceremony to recognize our recipients. Congratulations to the recipients and enjoy the rest of your day.